So hi guys, uh, welcome back to another video. Uh, today is going to be another monthly watch video. So I'm talking about all the films I watched in July 2023. Now, look, uh, I know I haven't been doing that much videos lately, and I apologise for that, but I've just been so busy lately. I've been busy with work, and uh, I've just been busy with the film as well. I want, well, I'm about 37 minutes in now, and I've had to do this uh, scene 13, which has taken me a little over two weeks to do. And I've had to, um, well, Last year, when I mentioned I wanted to do an Ice Age movie, I said I was going to do that, but I spent two weeks rewriting the whole thing, and I finished it, and it's over 100 pages. Yeah, so I've just been really busy, because with all my films and stuff, and I'm about 37 minutes in now with my other one, and I want to get back, that back on so I can still do the premiere. But yeah, I'm just going to do all the films I've watched this month so far. I've watched about 12, month, 12 films this month, but since it's August now, I'm going to try to watch a few more. So, uh, the first thing I watched this month, well, it was basically a Charlie Brown short film, and I just wanted to watch it so I could just uh, give me an idea of the inspiration for my version, and it's called A Pie Piper Charlie Brown. Yeah, and I watched it, and it wasn't that bad, to be honest. I mean, it was just okay-ish. I mean, it weren't too bad. It was good, though. And even though it did give me a little bit of an idea, the animation, I mean, it's basically just like this one right here. But, yeah. And uh, the next film I watched this month, well, which is based off a TV show, which I haven't seen yet. And this is the only one I've seen. Futurama, Bender's Big Score. Some of you might get mad at me because this is actually my first ever viewing of Futurama. And I even uh, have right here two, three and four. I haven't even seen those yet. I'll probably give them a watch, but I'm probably not going to review them. Because after that one, I just couldn't be bothered to review the others. So I'm just going to watch it and not review them. And next up, we have the latest Pixar film, and it was actually such a good film. Elemental. Yeah, I rewatched it about uh, not too long ago, and it was actually such a good film. I really liked it. It was good, great fun. The animation was gorgeous as well. I don't understand why people didn't like it that much. And in my opinion, I actually really enjoyed it. It was fun. It was better than Lightyear, and it actually made it made. It actually made its way into my top 12, I think, right outside uh, my top 10 with number 11. But yeah, I think it's a really good film, although I didn't watch it in the cinema. Uh, I did watch it at home, but it was great fun. But yeah, I just really love it. Then next up, uh, we have here a film which I picked up on holiday and I wanted to rewatch it because I haven't seen it at the cinema since then. So I rewatch it. Great fun. And it's going to lead into the upcoming fifth movie. Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. I just really like this film. It's great. Uh, that dog right there was probably had to be my favourite character. It was so funny. Uh, I even mentioned uh, the part where it goes bleep, bleep, bleep with those uh, bears right there. That was hilarious. I just loved it. But yeah, this is now my second favourite Shrek movie. I think it's just the best. And then next up, we have uh, my favourite Disney remake. It has been a little while since I had seen this movie. Um, well, a good few years now, I think, uh, or a few months. I wanted to rewatch it because I haven't seen it in a while. And it is one of my favourite Disney remakes. And I just love it. The Lion King. Yeah, I know. Uh, I watched the animated film in June and I wanted to jump straight to this one. This is such a gorgeous film. I don't understand why people don't like it and they do prefer The Jungle Book. But I think this is a really, really good, solid film. Like, it's fun, it's entertaining, I like it. And I remember going to see it in the cinema as well. So much nostalgia for me. I just really like it. And I'm looking forward to seeing the new Mufasa Lion King prequel when that comes out. Okay, uh, from six, seven, eight. Okay, I have uh, three films here, which I'm going to talk about in one go. Uh, a little bit embarrassed to show them, but I have to anyway. And I did it for my random movie reviews. And then Chipmunks 2, 3 and 4. Okay, I only watched these just because it was my random movie reviews. I did the first film in March, but I didn't get around to doing these. So I just did. And I'm going to be completely honest. I love the first three. They're classics. Uh, I love the first one. Second one's great. I love the third one. Four, it felt cringy, but other than that, it's still enjoyable. But I just hope we don't get a number five. But yeah, I mean, you know what I mean. But I still have a soft spot for four because I remember going to see it in the cinema back in 2016. 
And then next up, we have a, a Marvel film right, right here, which I watched uh, last Monday, and I don't think I'm ever going to watch it again. The New Mutants. Okay, I had just come back from work that day. I was tired, so I went to watch this and give it a go. And we completely honest, this film here was absolutely dreadful. I didn't even like it that much. Some of the powers were cool. Even though it's an X-Men film, it's um, basically a scary one. But it wasn't that scary. It was just boring. It was basically like that teenager thing. But I just didn't even like it that much. Worst film of the month. Then next up, we have a, a film here, which I went to see in the cinema last week. And... I'm going to be completely honest here. This film here, I didn't think it was too bad, but it weren't great, though. Uh, Black Adam. I mean, this film wasn't bad. It wasn't. But it wasn't great, though. I still preferred Shazam 2 over this. Still thought that was better. But, yeah, other than that, it, it was all right. It just weren't bad. Okay, and then uh, next up, I watched uh, another Snoopy short film, which I had been dying to see for months. And... Um, I think it was over the weekend or something, I watched it, and it was so good. I had been wanting to watch it for a long time, and I finally did. Uh, I know it's a bit of a Christmassy slash New Year one, but I wanted to watch it for ages. Snoopy, Old Lang Syne. Yeah, I wanted to watch it for such a long time, and I finally did. It was so good, I loved it. I think it was just so good, it was that great. Yeah, uh, I think it's now one of my favourite Snoopy short films. Then we come to the last film of the month, which I think is just so good. Uh, this film here was really good. I watched it last night, and my local cinema is going to be showing the third one, and I want to watch the first two, so I'm prepared for it. Ant-Man. This film here was so good. I just really liked it. It was stunning, amazing, just great. I really liked it. And uh, either tonight or tomorrow, I should be watching the second one because I'm going to be seeing the third one on Thursday. But yeah, I think that's just really good. And uh, at the end of the year, I will be uh, getting around all the films I watched in 2023. And uh, I will be doing a little thing called Movie of the Month where I uh, take the... Uh, well, I've uh, typed some of them out on these uh, pages here and I've highlighted uh, what will be the movies of the month. And on... Uh, New Year's Eve or New Year's Day, I'll be talking about the movies of the month and what winner of the film will be for the movie of 2023. You know what I mean? And uh, that is all the stuff I have watched in July 2023. And I'll be back this time next month to talk about all the films I watched in August. So I'll see you guys again soon. Another video. Bye.